My Straight Talk family, let's keep moving on uh, right now. And I'm sure we're not going to stop. I implore you not to stop until we reach the top, like I said, my Straight Talk family. And I want to say a very pleasant night. Uh, my Straight Talk family, to St. Kitts and Nevis. Not really a pleasant night. I was just trying to uh, get some updates on what's happening in our country. But my straight talk family, nonetheless, I wish you good night and do uh, apologize for my tardy start tonight. And welcome all to this edition of Straight Talk for Thursday. It's the 15th day of April in the year of our Lord 2024 uh, and that year is just rolling on and I must say good night as well to the world because we are on the world wide web and we do want to extend our greetings to those in the Ketishan and Nivijan diaspora. There are some of you in Africa. There are some of you in Asia. There are some of you in Europe. And there are a whole lot of you all over North America. So I'm at liberty to say good night. I will say good morning. And I will also say good afternoon because one of such greetings will be applicable to the region in which you now find yourselves and for the first timers we do have first timers I must welcome you and trust and hope it won't be your last time and just to inform you that Straight Talk is a public service program that facilitates and promotes free expression on all issues of national interest, be they legal, be they environmental, be they technological, social, economic, and or political issues on Straight Talk. You do have a forum to express yourselves freely. Let us in the process, uh, try to get St. Kitts back to that enviable position of being one of the freest countries in the world. And that's very ambitious, my straight dog family, because of what's happening in our country. And on this program, we try to raise the level of national consciousness. We try to raise the level of national discourse by alerting our people 
to their rights, to their responsibilities, and certainly uh, to their obligations. My name is Ian Patches Leibert, and I give Almighty God thanks for blessing me with yet another opportunity to join you in conversation on yet another occasion. And my sweet talk family, I want to hail up first of all my young brigade. I want to hail my young brigade because they are the future of our country. And I want to say hello to young Dwayne, to Tristan, to Shamar, Kevin, Rue, Travis, and Trevon. And our special lady has gone back to St. Louis and we will hear from her sooner rather than later. I commit that to you, my straight talk family. And we'll just move right into our observations in review, which is an integral part of our program. And just to, before that, just to let you know that Straight Talk is a participative program. By that I mean we entertain your calls. We entertain your emails. And if you're so minded calling, the numbers are on your screen. The email contact is on your screen. And you can uh, contact us then or uh, when we open our lines. And our first observation in review, my sweet dog family, I make mention of the comments of our Prime Minister Terence Michael July, who a few weeks ago touted as one of his major achievements being the repairs to the morgue at the JN France General Hospital. And recall my straight dog family, uh, he said this. The morgue. The morgue was in dilapidated condition. I'm sure if any of you would have gone there because of investigative purposes and you see the morgue, you'll be so disappointed. Somebody told me once they're standing in the morgue and the water coming through the roof dropping down in the morgue. We have put an end to that. I trust my straight dog family that we in fact have heard that that uh, video make certain that we did in fact I don't think we've heard that so I'm going to play that one more time for you, my straight dog family. Let's go back with this video. The morgue. The morgue was in dilapidated condition. I'm sure if any of you would have gone there because of investigative purposes and you see the morgue, you'll be so disappointed. Somebody told me once they're standing in the morgue and the water coming through the roof, dropping down in the morgue. We have put an end to that. But my straight dog family... Prime Minister July is experiencing difficulty at the helm. We all know that it's obvious. He's experiencing difficulty with the living. But now he's experiencing difficulty with the dead. Because we learned of a grave mistake. Yes, a grave mistake. Grave, G-R-A-V-E, grave mistake that shocked a poor family. Because they have learned that their dead relative was not buried as expected, but someone else uh, was, another body I should say, was wrongly released by the hospital. And we are following that story, my straight dog family, and we'll keep you updated. Some people are trying to cover that up, 
but we are not gonna let things just pass by like that my street dog family we just don't do that on street talk we ensure that we keep you up to date and we make certain as well that we at all times bring you uh, the facts and my street dog family while on the morgue as well we also bring you the sad news sad sad news that we have heard of another murder in St. Kitts and Nevis. We've heard of a shooting incident at the Fisheries Complex uh, earlier this evening. And one, two persons shot and one individual uh, hospitalized. My good friend Neil understand he's hospitalized and we trust and hope that he will recover my brother Neil I call him uh, he will recover sooner rather than later and my sure talk family this is the ninth murder for 2024 but when we reflect we are forced to inform you that this is the 41st murder under the Terence Michael July administration of just 18 months. So it's not a good sign, not a good sign at all, my straight dog family. The murders continue in Orlando Beauty, St. Kitts, and Nevis. And that's got me a sad note. Are in a sad mood tonight, my sweet dog family. More so because Terence Michael July, who is in fact the Minister of National Security, doesn't utter one word about these homicides, these murders. And they just seem to creep up on us on a way. Sometimes it looks calm and pop have a double murder tonight two shot one has died my third observation for tonight my street dog family I I am pondering as to why my uh, our DPP has gone so quiet terms of the cases that went before the court you understand that the chairman of the board of governors of the CBI a citizenship by investment or a citizenship by investment unit I think it's a proper thing to say Sylvester Anthony we understand that he has resigned we cannot confirm that as yet but we recall that he was one of the two persons uh, t- summoned to the court by our no-nonsense DPP. And we are following that story as well, my street dog family. Because the chair of the Board of Governors and the CEO of the CIU by now understand that the CEO in fact declared his assets and his liabilities but for some reason the chair of the board got caught in the net of non-declarations and our final observation my street dog family we look at the solar farm and For nigh two years, a major project like the La Cranche Solar Farm Project to develop 35 megawatts of base load from solar energy. And it has not gone forward for whatever reason. 
recall that Jamie of Freedom FM posed this question to the special advisor to the Prime Minister that Joe. people are having is the fact that we know that the Senkis Nevis Labour Party had criticized this project significantly, the, the solar farm project. Mm -hmm. leading up to the general election, mm -hmm. okay? So we are here. We are hearing a lot of talk about renegotiation, and we are, you know, we are hearing that conversation. And very interesting, my street dog family, the special advisor responded in this way. It is a good project based on our own studies, calling in the expertise from right in the Caribbean to assess. It's a good project. Mm -hmm. The field that it was properly assessed and the, and the costing was, um, was within the range of what it would cost anywhere to do that. Imagine that, my street dog family. Project held up for nine, two years. And the special advisor to Terence Michael July has come to the country and said it's a good project. Yet our electric electricity costs could have been down. Skelet could have been saving money on fuel. But this is the sort of administration that we have running this country. But those are my observations for tonight. My street dog family and I will move right into my thesis, which I have titled Before God and Man, Snake Mark Brantley, Hands Not Clean. That's colloquial language, so I know you'll say properly Before God and Man, Snake Brantley's Hands Not Clean, but we use the colloquial before God and man, snake bluntly hands, not clean. And there's a well-known former political leader in St. Kitts and Nevis who once had a very serious allegation, my street dog family, a very serious allegation was leveled against him in 19... 1979, beg your pardon. And my straight talk family, his response, even as I reflect upon it tonight, still sounds to me like biblical poetry. He was a lawyer by training and a state scholar. And the fact that the judicial and legal complex in Bastia is named after him. In my view, it speaks volumes about the character of this man. As a young boy, I recall taking my grandmother's bench to Warner Park whenever she attended Labour Party public meetings and she never missed any of them as a matter of fact. So she attended all of them, my straight dog family. And though my grandmother Eunice Taylor Proctor Liebert behaved as if she was more labor than Bradshaw. As young as I was, however, there was one thing she always said that offended me, which was Papa Bradshaw, give me shoes. I took offense because mama, as I called my grandmother, to me she worked very hard to make ends meet. I know this because mama made chocolate for sale and I had to shell then grind the patch cocoa. Mama sold coconut tarts and I had to grate the dried coconut. I must sold these muffin cakes and I had to grease the baking pans and beat the brown sugar in the butter 
until it melted before she added her eggs, cake, mix, and other ingredients. How many of us had those days when you had to, to beat, beat, beat the sh- brown sugar in the butter to melt it? Now, those days, of course, Mama had no blenders. No blenders existed. You couldn't afford them if they were. And how could I forget that Mama also sold black pudding every Saturday? And I had to help her to clean and stuff the links, as we call them, every Friday night. And all these chores, I must confess, gave me a particularly solid ground in, in my life until today. Through all of this, though, Mama loved her politics and her Bradshaw, but was very close to Southwell, her one-time neighbor in Newtown, and his wife Gladys was a close friend. Something I also learned from Mama was that every black person in St. Kitts supported the Labour Party in that era, except a man called Happy Puppy. I always heard her say that. I only found out who this was when I became a grown man. But getting back to this well-known leader who eventually became our third premier, I vividly recall his first introduction to speak on the Labour Party platform at the Warner Park Pavilion. A stool was placed on which he stood in front of the microphone to address the large crowd as he was very short in stature. The first words he uttered in his unique voice remain with me over 50 years thereafter, and as if I can hear him now saying, workers of the world unite. We have nothing to lose but our chains. And as as young as I was, rather, back then, his oratorical skills captured me. And I I grew to a liking for this color I came to know as Lee Llewellyn Moore. I would see him on many occasions in his jacket and and tie, perambulating, yes, slowly walking around the streets of downtown Basseter. He was always so friendly. So one day I got the courage to approach him. And I told him about his introductory meeting at Warner Park and the first words he pronounced. And that was nigh 20 years after. And standing amazed, Limo smiled, then responded, Karl Marx, Karl Marx, he said. I also vividly recall that one day I was in a heated argument with a certain character. And someone came from behind and put a hand on my shoulder. When I looked around, it was Limo who said these words to me. I will never forget. He said to me, quote, Young man, never argue with a fool. And these words guide me to this very day, although attributed to Mark Twain. His documented quote is, however, never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. Sali was perhaps one of the most brilliant scholars ever to lead our country, albeit for a very short period. But he was also one of, if not the most vilified political leaders we ever had. He was outspoken on the political platform. And this made him a target, no doubt, for the opposition. The opposition went to the extreme to plaster a picture poster of Limor in an uncompromising position on literally, literally every lamppost in Bastille. But the one I remember is this. Bradshaw died in 1978 and his successor Southwell immediately faced a leadership challenge in the Labour Party that almost brought him to tears while addressing the state on national radio and television one night. Less than one year after succeeding Bradshaw, Premier Southwell died suddenly in St. Lucia while attending a meeting of the Council of Ministers of the West Indies Associated States. Moore also attended that meeting 
And sadly, the opposition made political fodder out of the death of Southwell and even blamed Limor for the death of Southwell. Limor responded in a broadcast to the nation, I think it was. He was measured, calm, and in his usual poise and confidence, filled with grace and humility, I can hear the spirit of Limur right now with his biblical poetry, which to me became his famous quote, to wit, before God and man, my hands are clean. The brief mention about the now departed Sir Lee Llewellyn Moore is my point of departure for tonight. Because last week Thursday, before going on air for that night's episode of Straight Talk, I received a telephone call from a very important personality here in St. Kitts Nevis. When I answered the voice on the line asked, Are you going to answer Mark tonight? I said, beg pardon? I was taken aback as I didn't have one clue what she was talking about. So she promised to send me an audio clip, which she did. Well, I decided that I will not be distracted, especially like by someone like the snake Mark Brantley from across the Narrows, who, in my view, has no credibility whatsoever. For that reason... For that reason, I remained focused on my task for last Thursday night. And I'm sure that you all remember my thesis about our leader, who seems trapped within the illusion of truth. However, on Saturday morning, a spirit moved me to listen to the audio, and I heard this incoherent rant from a man who has become what I call a political proxy and prostitute simultaneously at the same time. Yes, simultaneously. What I mean at the same time. Because instead of performing his constitutional role as leader of his majesty's opposition, he continues to act as a substitute for Prime Minister July like a political prostitute, the snake Mark Brantley goes from pillar to post. Remember, he thanked God for unity. He even spoke to the caring leadership of Timothy Harris. But that is the nature of the man. No wonder our second Prime Minister Douglas spoke about some company with which he was associated and engaged in some untoward behavior. This matter died, but I recall when Douglas made this comment. The member for Nevis 9 has, in his own words, said he was a director. And I'm saying that he had, the company had no license to be doing insurance business of this nature, and that is fraud. And my straight talk family, but while your host does not associate myself with the comments of Douglas, I can say that the snake Mark Brantley is still alive and has one more time intentionally applied deceptive action designed to reap political gain and in the process deny the right of the people of Kion to establish the quality of the water found by Bede. It's all about trying to change the narrative. But the question we still raise is whether the water found at Kion is good or bad. Was the water tested? And by whom? And why is the Bureau of Standards not engaged in the process? And these are pertinent questions. But the snake Mark Brantley obviously decided that he would try to restore his relevance by presenting what he called facts 
about the water problems in St. Kitts. But individuals as well must not be distracted from the problems at the source that can be summarized in seven or eight words. Snake Mark Brantley has run Nevis broke. The incompetent bad spender has run the debt in Nevis to over a half a billion dollars. He said that himself. And we heard him. He said this, my Straight Talk family. As of 31st October 2023, the central government debt stock portfolio stood at $480.08 million, which is an increase of 4.8% when compared to the debt level of $458.27 million as at December 31st, 2022. For the period under review, the central government domestic debt amounted to 450.74 million. Our central government debt combined with the debts of our statutory corporations provide an overall public sector debt of 544.69 million as at October 31st, 2023, which indicates an increase of 4% when compared to the public sector debt level of 523.92 million as of December 31st, 2020. Imagine that. A little country like Nevis with 12,000 or 13,000 residents and citizens, or citizens and residents, have $554 million, a half a billion dollars in debt, public debt. And conditions must not be distracted either, as under this bad, reckless spender and snake Mark Brantley, Nevis, with 20% of the population, now accounts for almost 49% of the public debt guaranteed by the federal government, my straight dog family. And you imagine that? Our government spoke about a reset. And I ask myself each day, reset to what? But let's talk water. Let's talk water, my street dog family. I said before, and I'm going to repeat it. And give the snake, Brantley, a little tip. It is said that if you lie, you must know the truth and keep an eye on the facts as your reference system. I'm going to repeat that. It is said that if you lie, you must know the truth and you must keep an eye on the facts as your reference system. First, my straight dog family my biggest disappointment is the manager and water engineer, Cromwell Williams, who said this, my street dog family. My biggest disappointment, he said this. Um, if you go back to 2014, the government signed a contract with Bede to develop our groundwater resources. That contract encountered some problems, to the best of my understanding um, about maybe about 2017 18 thereabout and and so they, that they, that contract as I said developed some problems and bead up beads operation the drilling was stopped I'm so disappointed because the facts tend to elude quite a lot of people but he said the the contract he meaning the manager and what engineers spoke to 2014. But the snake, Mark Brantley, contradicted Kwame Williams. But he too lied and make this false statement, made this false statement, my straight talk family. He said this. Because it's all about self-aggrandizement. I used to sit back sometimes and I used to say, well, they must know what they must do. Because me in the cabinet and Mr. Eugene Hamilton, who's the representative for number eight, Mr. Eugene, I'm recognized. What am I recognized for? 
if he now make noise to say that water must come to Kion, why Mark Brandy must go down and go make noise? I know people may say that is not the right approach, but sometimes you have to look at things for all of you sitting around the table as equals. And one man say he now do nothing unless it's his company, the one that he select, gonna get the work. And just like that, no water. Five years. It is only after 2020 and the portfolios change. And I must give Sean Richards some credit because he came in and he then tried to activate insofar as the plan that we had there since 2015 that we met to ameliorate the water situation in Kiran. Let's just talk family. In 2018, under my leadership, the Water Services Department brought 500,000 gallons of water into the system via Shadwell 1. And this was reported by the acting manager and water engineer, Charles Paris, who said this, my straight talk family. My name is um, Charles Paris of the Water Service, Sinkets Water Services Department. And today we are here at um, Shadwell 1. Shadwell 1, we just brought on stream with uh, roughly 350 gallons uh, per minute, pumping 500,000 gallons per day to the Olivier's reservoirs. Before the um, on stream of this um, well, we were taking water from the aquifer with two, well, two wells pumping to Olivier's. Now with this one, we can send the water from here straight to Olivier's and serve the Bastia area from Olivier's from the water that we have here at Shadwell 1. So bringing this um, well on stream has given us some relief in that we are able now to use those two wells in the Bastia aquifer and channel them to Morn Peak that serves Bird Rock, um, the Greater Bastia and parts of Frigate Bay and uh, the Southeast Peninsula. So yes, my Shredock family, that was on November 27, 2018 to be exact. So, Mark Brantley, if he wants to tell a lie, he must find the facts. The Water Services Department was instructed to commission the well because Bead violated the contract of 8th January 2015. This contract, my street dog family, was signed on the 8th of January 2015, about two weeks before elections or the elections of 2015, my street dog family. And the background, I must give you the background to this agreement can be gleaned from this slide on your screen. And if you look to the groundwater exploration and delivery contract, which was signed, as I said, in 2015, January 2015. Let me post it for you one more time. This was signed, you can see, in January of 2015, my street dog family. And you can see, you can glean from the signatures there, then Pierce Ricky Lake. But a check was made for the mobilization of funds of some US seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Ironically, that check was signed the day after election on the sixteenth of February twenty fifteen. Under the agreement, Bede was to deliver four million imperial imperial gallons per day of water in 12 months 
And you can look at the commencement date there at section four on your screen. Look at the commencement date. It said commencement and term, which has to be delivered to be to be delivered. Beg your pardon. In twelve months, one year. Look at section six three, my street dog family on your screen. It says that the government of Saint Kitts. That's GSK. Shall grant to bead exclusive license to drill and made make available for delivery and deliver to the government distribution system groundwater located in bedrock, not less than four hundred feet below ground level. During the term of this agreement and including any extended term. Go on reading my straight talk family. Very interesting here. It says government reserves the right to drill and to contract for drilling at aquifers not more than 400 feet below ground level. Well, Shadwell, Shadwell 1 the water was found just over 200 feet. Bead should have drilled 400 feet and below. So the Water Services Department was instructed to connect the water in Shadwell 1 after much delay by Bead and its clear violation of the contract. But my street dog family, it continues. Because a variation agreement was negotiated with Bede in 2019. Yes, a variation agreement was negotiated with Bede in 2019. The facts are there, my street dog family. And Bede was paid. One million dollars in May 2019. And look at the top of your screen to the right. You will recognize that a second variation, my street dog family, was signed in 2020. And Bede committed to commence work by February. 2021, see section 3 on page, see, see page 3, beg your pardon, and section 2, my street dog family. It is clear, as pellucid as can be. So let no one fool you, my street dog family. Let no one fool you about this bead and not getting water till 2022, my street dog family. Read section 3. Or it says, Notice, therefore, by this variation agreement, the parties hereby agree to vary, replace, and supersede the main agreement and the first version agreement, save and accept to the extent expressly set forth within. And look at section 2. There on your right page, page 3 on your right. It said, Bill will recommence work on about the first day of February 2021. And the work to be undertaken under this variation agreement shall be limited to the Shadwell number two, that's still capped, and the Keon site, or as further detailed and set out herein. So my Stuart Oak family, when the snake Brantley tries to twist the story, or tries twisting the story and talking about facts, what facts? 
His opinion cannot be facts. What facts? He has my straight dog family. I ask myself if the snake, Brantley, when I heard him, I ask myself if he's now using crack. Is he on coke? As he is behaving as though he is high on something when I hear him saying this. And so Jew them have no coming. And what is the plan that Jew them are the same plan, you know? The same plan from 2015 involving Bede. The same drilling in Kayon and some well in Shadwell. That was the plan that we met, you know? So the same plan from 2015 took until 2022 when Prime Minister Drew and his team took over to then they talk about implementing that plan. So I'm not here tonight to defend anybody or to attack anybody, but I think the facts are important when we talk about these things. What facts? These are the facts, my straight dog family. I'll put them on the screen again. The variation agreement that was signed and bid committed, as I said. Committed. If you look at the agreement, it says the government of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis and bid. And it goes on where, as on the 8th of January 2015, the parties entered into a ground exploration and delivery agreement for the exploration, drilling, development, testing, delivery, and management of new sources of potable groundwater by BEAD for connection to the government water distribution system, hereinafter referred to as the main agreement. On the 15th of May, 2019, it says, the parties entered into a variation agreement. And then, if you look to your right, it speaks to a second variation agreement, my straight dog family. What facts is the snake referring to? Is he high on something? But my straight dog family, this is the same snake, Brantley, who scandalized Bead in the cabinet. When he told us, I was there, he told us to have nothing to do with Bede as he has taken them to court for some $2 million owed to the NIA since 2017. Brantley said that in the cabinet. Have nothing to do with Bede because he's taken them to court. And lo and behold, he came public with that information when pressed by a reporter belatedly he said this my straight dog family he said this um, as i indicated publicly before we had made a commitment to have an additional three wells done at a global cost of 10 million ec dollars back in 2017. in fact it was in august of 2017 that we paid to a company called bead just over two million ec dollars as a down payment Bead has never come to do the work for the government. And so we don't have our $2 million and we don't have any wells. We have decided to take legal action against Bead that is ongoing. So it has not been for want of trying in relation to water. And that's what he told us in cabinet. That's what he said. Have nothing to do with Bead. But he comes now as if he got high on something and chat in his Stupidness. Imagine, imagine my straight dog family, the snake Brantley talking about self aggrandizement. That's what he says. Big word, yes. But how could he accuse anyone of self aggrandizement when for years on the team Unity he took home two salaries every month and four salaries in December. Yes, one in Nevis from the NIA and one in Sankis from the federal government. But how the hell could one man be in two places at the same time and said he had no scandal? That is scandalous, my straight dog family. That 
is scandalous when he said he had no scandals. When I was being attacked. In high and low places, as being a bad spender, I was making sure that I was spending money on developing Nevis. One of the things I prided myself on as the premier of this island, you have never heard any whiff of scandal involving my administration. Wow. Imagine that. Are we living on the same planet, my street dog family? The biggest scandal under the Mark Brantley NIA was when he sneaked in the French criminal during the COVID-19 when Barbados declared this French criminal persona non grata. He was deported from Barbados. And he found a plane that very same day to Nevis. You understand, my sweet dog family, that is a Bajan lady who was then working at the Tourism Authority made the contact Mark Brantley, snake Mark Brantley. Well, that's the biggest scandal. When you, under the cover of COVID-19, sneaked in this French criminal and paid him $400,000 from the Nevis Island Administration Treasury to keep him in Nevis. You said that. Those are your words, not mine. You said this, Snake. What was our deal with MSR? We said to MSR, after some negotiations, that we will pay up to 150000 US dollars. And that was our partnership with them. 150,000 years dollars for nine, two and a half years, well over 12 million dollars, Snake Brantley. That's the scandal. It's a big scandal. You then introduce this criminal to the cabinet, and later to July, when the government changed. And this criminal is now the only investor allowed to sell passports. Under the public benefit option, you introduce him to July. Mark Brantley, who is the premier of Nevis, um, uh, decided wanted to diversify the economy. Yes, there is a financial arrangement with MSR. I believe the number is one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. We are prepared to do thirty-five films. Uh, over the next five years. Uh, along with our development, we are uh, finalizing the purchase of a hotel in St. Kitts. Yes, and you know, and uh, as we have spoken before, that you will definitely have our support. Uh, yes. A man came here broke if you just search on London House. His assets declared up to last year was 12 hundred pounds but the snake Mark Brantley snaked him into Nevis and he's bought a hotel imagine that the Ocean Terrace Inn Hotel isn't that scandalous Mark snake is another big scandal I've told you about before my street dog family. It is a big sc scandal that he, he deducts monies from the salaries and wages of public servants and civil servants. Just like the Attorney General Garth, Lucifer Wilkin, my street dog family. And he don't match their contributions and don't Pay them into the Social Security Board. The evidence is there. Evidence is before you, my sweet dog family. That's the snake we are dealing with. Doesn't pay. Having deducted millions of dollars from the salaries and wages of civil servants and public servants. 
and does not match the contribution, neither does he pay them into the social security fund. But that is not only a scandal, Snake Mark Brantley, that is also criminal. Criminal, according to an opinion of a learned judge. The immunity, Mark Brantley, gave you $7 million. Gave the NIA $7 million to help in the development of geothermal in Nevis. And we are told that 90% of that money was paid for legal fees to a law firm that you know very well, Snake Brantley. You know that firm very well. And some time you must tell us the name of that firm, Snake Brantley. But Dennis Daniel is so right. The Snake Brantley is so deceptive. Janice Daniel said this about the snake. It is obvious that while the Premier wrestles with the stark reality of his failed attempts of administration and the glaring mismanagement of funds that he may soon be called upon to answer for, the Premier has deployed his usual lame tactic of deception. While Rome burns, the Premier finds time to concoct deceptive Nancy stories as a little girl growing up in Brown Hill, I was always encouraged to tell the truth. We were told that whenever a lie is told, there is something that the liar is trying to hide. Of course, because a liar is mortified of the truth. And that's Mark. That's the snake Mark Brantley. Concox. He makes up stories, my sweet dog family. For seven long years, he cannot finish a little wing at the Alexandra Hospital. Cannot finish it. I should talk family. But I'm also disappointed. I'm also disappointed, as I said before, with the manager and water engineer. When he confirmed that it was Bede who did the testing. Because don't lose sight of the fact, my sweet dog family. They tried to change the narrative, but let us not you lose sight of the fact that this all came about because we exposed them of hustling to put water into the system without abiding with the normal protocols. And we know the protocols, my straight dog family. We know the protocols. And as I said, I'll say again, my straight dog family, I was disappointed with Cromwell Williams, my straight dog family, when he said that bead did the testing, my street dog family. He also said that there was no Bureau of Standards involvement in this testing of the water. The water is like food. Water is food, I must say. And when the manager and water engineer says that Bead or bead, no bead was used to do the testing. I was taken aback by Street Dog family. You mentioned that you test the water quality of the well in Kayon. Yes. Was that done by the Bureau of Standards here in St. Kitts, the testing? Not as yet. Not as yet. No. But the ones in Shadwell were done by the Bureau of Standards? I think so. Yeah. Not as yet, he said, my straight dog family. How 
and when will it be tested? If you're hustling to connect the well or the pump house, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the water into the public system. I'm going to put it into the system and then check. My sweet dog family, all I would like to say, I prayed to the Lord that whatever the results of my talking the truth in this country, I intend to accept them. No matter how uncomfortable it may get to some people, especially those like Garth Lucifer Wilkin, Terence Michael July, and others, I commit to you, my straight talk family, I will forever speak the truth. But tonight, my focus was on this political proxy and political prostitute they call him and I'm not afraid to say that before God and man snake brantly hands not clean that's my story tonight my sweet dog family and I am not going to change it I'm going to open the lines and entertain your call and your emails and the numbers are on your screen all i would wish to do is to employ you that when i open the lines which i'll do so in a moment i'll do so momentarily i like to say and when i do so i anticipate that you will respect others and of course to achieve that you must first respect yourself let us try to be fair to all concerned and let's just try to build goodwill and better friendships in the process. And when in saying and doing those things, let's strive or try to ensure that they will be beneficial to all concerned. And in the process as well, let us strive to build a kinder, gentler, St. Kitts and Nevis. With that said, it's... 14 past the 9 o'clock hour, I go to the lines and I say good night to this call. Good night. <laughs> uh, the Bible man, you are uh, on, on the ball. Yo, All right, Mr. Bartel. Uh, how are you tonight, sir? So? Uh, Mr. Bartel, mm -hmm. it is so wonderful to really be on straight path. Happy to hear you. Well. And to preach the good news. The word of God says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good. His mercy is enjoyed. For his mercy endured forever. True. He said, Let the redeem of the Lord say so, who he had redeemed from the hands of the enemy. That is tonight I am going to put your attention to Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 17 and 18, Mr. Patin. Jeremiah chapter 13, 17 and 18. Yeah, that said the Lord, Mr. Patin. Verse 17. If he will not hear it, my soul shall weep in a secret place for your pride and your, no, your eyes shall weep sore and run down with tears. Because the Lord flock is carried away in captivity. That is, in verse 18, I said unto the king, 
And to the queen, humble yourself. Sit down. For your principality shall come down. Even your crown of your glory. You get? You hear that? God was talking to Jeremiah in Jew, for Judah. And so God could talk to the people in saints and stone. God is there and he's everywhere. Okay. What happened in the old time? Who had now? That okay. is, yes, I am saying in Lord Pastor Scripture, be not deceived. Galatians chapter 7, be not deceived. God is not mad. Whatsoever a man so it, it's all all service. But it when the rip put it up, you get you are you are here a lot and sometimes people go crazy. Okay. Good night, Mr. Party. See you bye. Good night, my brother. I I I well, I, I, I like your spiritual intervention. Uh, that's the Bible man, John James. But I, I have a preference for the Psalms. I can tell you, I always uh, look forward when you read from the Book of Psalms. Miss Henry uh, reads this email. You have a phenomenal memory. Thank God for you and the unwavering factual political education give to the people of the Federation. Last Friday afternoon on Freedom, the three one-sided political hosts were left dumbfounded and could not respond after you articulated that it was the public inquiry set up by Labour that brought down Heiliger and Pam, which was a complete contrast to Dwyer's spin assertion. My intimate knowledge of what transpired is that it wasn't for the speedy intervention of Limo, the lead prosecutor. Heiliger and... I should read that again. My intimate knowledge of what transpired is that if it wasn't for the speedy intervention of Limo, the lead prosecutor, Heiliger and Pam would be further embarrassed by a calculated arrest and charge on a single check. The stoppage of the arrest by Moore angered the other labor lawyers on the team, which brought some measure of disaffection between them and Limo. Limo's argument was there will be no arrests until the whole inquiry is completed. End of story. It was Limo, a labor man, that saved Heilger a Pam man from a premature arrest. And that is incontrovertible, reads that email. It's 20 past the 9 o'clock hour, my Street Talk family. The lines are open. I made certain that my overseas lines or line is operational tonight. So for those in the diaspora, uh, be assured that I, I, I still apologize for not being able to uh, have you connected on our last episode, but I made certain that the lines are accessible tonight, so feel free to call 646-829-6672. And our lines are open. I'll take uh, some of the emails as well and try to to uh, intersperse them, if that's the right word. And my straight dog family, this email reads, every time the doctor... Drew, lie speaks. It seemed incumbent upon him to lie about the opening of the country post-COVID. According to him, the Federation was the last country to open its borders, thus losing tens of millions of dollars. Oh, what a lie with this man. He has not even a scintilla of evidence to prove that the Federation was late in its opening. Dr. July has an abiding and tyrannous hatred against Harris. Dr. Wilkerson and Dr. Laws for saving the Federation from the dreaded destruction of COVID. 
It is quite evident that July is driven by money and greed, while Harris's focus was to preserve and sustain the lives of the citizens of the Federation. Thank you, Dr. Harris, for taking all the sound advice that were given to you by the COVID medical team and acted in accordance to keep the country safe until the proper time was right to open up. Hungry for power, Dr. July and his health advisor could say what they want now. They are alive and they're belly full. So they better ought to say thank you, Dr. Harris, and stop talking their stupidity about country was open late. Read that email. It's 9.22, my Straight Talk family, if you have just joined me. The lines are open, and we are discussing our thesis for tonight. Uh, we are discussing our thesis for tonight. Before God and man, snake brantly hands are not clean. And we have titled that thesis, as I said, and we really focus on the rant of this snake in Nevis and the lies he told about water. But it was at all an attempt, I believe, to change the narrative about the water issue in Kean. And from day one, we have been saying we don't know if the water is good neither do we know if the water is bad but we believe that protocol demands that there ought to be an independent testing of the water and this was not done to date we understand that Bede has done its own testing. And to say that it is normal for Bede to do that, Bede only drilled three wells in St. Kitts, two at Shadwell and one in Keon. One of the three wells is still capped off because of the contamination found in Shadwell too. So, it is not true to say that bead always does its own testing. False. Let's go back to the lines. Caller, you are live. Hello, caller. Yeah. Good night, mama. Yes, my mama. Good night. <laughs> you, tell, you tell us a lot of things, what mama had you doing. Yes, that's that made me to do. But, but you ain't say mama. Mama had you sleeping and you lodging on your floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mama had me doing that because she little matchbox was so small for the amount of us in there you, that, you, you that it was considered uh, upstairs and downstairs. She on the bed and we underneath the bed on the floor. You, 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 you came up in one of those houses bigger day, smaller night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know them, I know them. Yes. Well, as usual, that is, we got, we got so many issues about the country Too many. that need to be spoken of. True. That I don't have enough time to hear other friends them who listen to straight talk, but they know who they are. And one of these evenings, maybe next evening, if, you, if we do not have a tardy start, I will be able to shout up all of them by name individually. So all of you who don't want me name, are your name, call and are you want to up, are you, are you, are you going to hear your name? Because you are good people, and you are make sure that you are tuned into straight talk. But anyway, let me go here, Patrick. I glad when the special advisor to scratch me bomb July when he come with the facts concerning the the soul of farm. Because I know July. Come with he 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 um he own fabricated lie them, and it seem like he and the advisor do not communicate on a regular basis. Otherwise, the lying advisor he would not have gone and the radio speak the truth. 
Because, you know, every time he go on a radio platform, it's pure propaganda he coming with. Pure lies. Think he could fool anybody. But he forget that we all are aware and we are alert of what is going on. And like I always said, you fool me even before he get in into parliament. When he cursed Dr. Douglas, disrespect Dr. Douglas, just to be the leader of the Labour Party, and he fooled me that time, and he cannot fool me again, never. Not even if he say he's going to recite the 26 letters in the alphabet, I will believe him. So, when he come, I, do, I just don't even listen to him, because whatever he say, I know I will hear on your program. I don't like to hear his name, much as to hear him talk. Because everything comes out of his mouth, it's pure lies. Pure lies, Patches. Now, he's shifting from everything that started on the unity, which was very, very successful for the country. And he just wanted to say he's doing things different. Now look what he do with the national anthem. An anthem not supposed to be played with. I don't know if you could remember, some years ago, this woman named Rose and Bar, a Irish name, she tried to sing the American anthem, and she messed it up, and she was brought to pieces with criticism of the way she disrespect the national anthem. Now, and when anybody going to speak, whether the governor or prime minister, whosoever head of state, the national anthem supposed to be played with instruments, it's only like football game and, and sporting game, and so they, they will use an artist to sing it. And he changed up the anthem, I think it's last week. Instead of playing the anthem before he speak, he got people change up the anti national anthem, different to how originated the anthem was in, originated. That is how this man here hit Dr. Harris. And the team unity administration, Patrick, which you are part of, the man hated it with grudge, malice in him, and all because he do not respect God. He do not have no love for God. Otherwise, he would not behave the way he is behaving. Pure malice in his heart for people. Eh? He wanted to say he doing things different. This morning, a leg or something on him, he come in, want to change up everything. He, he changed up the, the, um, the, the location for the school that you are going to be built for the children then. Ganga broke down your school, Patches, mm -hmm. and he can't finish it. Ganga broke down Mr. Bratcher House for museum, and he can't finish it. When down Johnson Long Park, say he's going to break down to build new smart hospital, he can't start and finish nothing. So therefore, I had to expose him. And anything I know about him, I will expose him because he's too lie and dangerous. Patches, I'll come back. Thank you. So long. Thank you for your contribution as usual, my dear brother. And it's very in interesting to raise that point about the Robert Dwellin Bradshaw Museum. Because the work has stopped there. I don't know how many people have observed that. Absolutely nothing is going on there. He has taken down the signs as well. And recall, my straight dog family, recall that in the very first month he got to office, he told us that they were going to spend He's always estimating, he said, about $4 million. And he has spent much more than $4 million. He has spent $8 million, we are told. And this is what he said about the Robert the Welling Bradshaw Museum. He said this. Under construction, um, and we're hoping, really pushing to see if we can complete it by September 16th. I know that's a lofty goal, 
but we are really pushing. If not, definitely we want to complete it um, by this year. We expect it to cost in the region of maybe about $4 million. The construction is going on and to about maybe $4 million uh, grand total at the end of the day. Well, it has gone to $8 million, but construction has come to a screeching halt. One wonders where has the $8 million gone? And that's another question we need answers for my straight dog family. But this email reads, uh, Good night, Patches. Riches as leader of PAM is history. I watched a video early today by an entity known as KN Whoop, in which the KN Whoop commentator says, our, our commentator keeps speaking as if someone is removing Sean Richards from the leadership of Pam. The fact is that based on his own speech, Mr. Richards is the one removing himself in what many perceive to be his apparent acknowledgement that he has failed as leader while he is demonst demonstrably, a, demonstrably a successful candidate in his constituency as pointed out by his, the commentator it is pellucid that he has failed miserably as a national leader one only has to take into account the details surrounding the implosion of team unity in which he joined with others in causing the demise of his own government including his lack of wisdom in the entire saga absenting himself from cabinet and other irresponsible and even childish tendencies and that was just the tip of the unfortunate iceberg with this email this other email reads again when labor was in power many persons took the opportunity and left Senkits to live overseas I will trade place with the overseas voters who came and voted for this Labour government to run this country. Because the fact is St. Kitts is slow, going, slowly going to the dogs. It seems to me because of this Labour government, God has given up on us. Read this email, my straight dog family. This other email reads, Patches, the DPP has gone into hiding from the harsh criticism his office received from the High Court judge in Nevis. Imagine for the April assizes in Nevis this year, no criminal cases were prepared and ready for trial because of the incompetences of the DPP's office. The judge was very irate and never minced word, his words in what he had to say. Patches, check out the information for because the stakes, the stake, beg your pardon, was partially caught in the dilemma of the judge's criticism. And instead of responding to what the judge said on his show, he took out his text on you. Read this email. People in St. Kitts are starving. I never know I will live to see the day people in their right minds walking and begging for money and something to eat drew boasting about the plenty jobs in st kitts but where are they people are in need of help but the only comrades pockets are full and running over if they want st kitts to come like haiti all they will have to run their lives read this email Patches Mark must give high blood pressure. Why are you so concerned about how he spend Navy's money? Mark knows how to win elections, and like you, who couldn't even get a ticket second time around, not even from your puppet master. You are like Donald Trump, want to cheer up the Constitution that allows him to collect two salaries. Barbados supported this guy. Why? Didn't your government deport him to? Is because his problem with Barbados has nothing to do with St. Kitts, Nevis. While you at it, tell us whose words are these. 
No, that's not for 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 a broadcast, and you should know better than that with your your bad words, as we call them. But my straight dog family, Barbados reported or deported uh, my dear brother or sister, whoever this is, a criminal. And Mark sneaked the criminal into Nevis. Are you happy with that? I am not. I am certainly not happy with that. Let's go back to the lines. Call you live. Hello, caller. Yeah. Yeah, Patches. Let me go here, brother, with, with issues. Good night, Mr. Straight Talk, Nabu, Floyd Wine, and Mr. Welcome. That is, I'm very much concerned about Nabu, eh? And I'm trying to get in touch with him. But I haven't been successful yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I ain't gonna stop until I get in touch with him. No patches. I <laughs> I'm listening very very carefully. No, a vagabond, a scamp, was deported from a Caribbean OECS country. And you gonna tell me one of them who proclaimed to be a straightforward, honest, decent person, go and hug him up and take him in. Take him in in a country, a little island that's struggling with with, with, um, with, with money. And you're going to pay him 150,000 US dollars eh? out of the people their money? And that is good too for, for him? Come on, if that ain't scandal, well, what else is scandal? Nothing else is scandal. And he got the girl to come on the, the airwaves and say that, come say what he say, that they, 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 they sign an agreement with MSR and they're getting 150,000 US dollars. Eh? It's not the smallest legal tender in the world. It's US dollars he's talking about, <laughs> top rank dollars. No wonder, no wonder he stopped talking about fear shield. Every talk he talked once over before elect, I mean after election and before election. Be, be. Fear shield was the weapon he was using, trying to say if he could mash up and shove down the leader of Team Unity. Because he know he had, he, um, he, 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 demol- he demolition ball. You know, in, in America, they use a, a big, heavy iron ball to mash up buildings on a crane. Hmm. He don't have the, the, that they're using to mash up unity. And now, he stopped talking about fear here. How that people will hear him, but he begging it easily. In, in July here. Give me some fear here. I want some fear here. Give me something for me. He want nobody here. He begging it. Because he can't open him out loud. And I scratch me bum. Boy for monkey for fear shield. Otherwise, you know what gonna happen to him. You know what gonna happen to him. Be biting his tongue, stifling his conscience, just to see if he could get the money from 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 um scratch me bum to pay off Nevis debt. A small little island look at Nevis with such a big debt. Where the money gone? Where the money is? Nevis people, especially NRP supporters of the I don't ease up. Put on the pressure on him. Pressure those boss pipe. And pressure does make water go uphill. Patches, if I remember anything, close by, I'll come back. Thank you so long. Thank you for your intervention. And as I said earlier, the snake, Brantley, is a political proxy for Prime Minister Terence Michael July. But he's like a political prostitute as well, who's jumping from post to post, as we say, or pillar to post, I think is the term they use. Because how many of us remember this? When he was getting money on the team multi, he said this, my straight dog family, listen to this case carefully. 2006 to 2015 represents 10 years. And in those 10 years, the NRP Labour Administration only side fit to 
send 17.3 million dollars to Nevis. 17.3 in 10 years, 51.16 in less than two under unity. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about the benefits to the people of Nevis from this arrangement, it's not just talk. When I look at what the SIDF that has now been made available to Nevis, and the federal government under the caring leadership of Dr. Timothy Harris has done. I say, I say that in less than two years, the people of Nevis have been the direct beneficiaries of some $113.36 million. I don't know $100 million, look, I never see it yet. But on paper, 113.36 million flowing to the citizens of the country who live and work and were born and make Nevis their home is by any measure a significant achievement for this team unity government. And that's the same man. We hear him With a changed tongue in recent times, my street talk family. But if you just join me, welcome. And our thesis for tonight, I titled Before God and Man, Snake Bantley Hands Not Clean. And I reflected on a former leader. Sir Lee Llewellyn Moore and used his own contribution to our nation building as my point of departure tonight. And as I said earlier, he, I, he impacted me quite a lot. But when I reflect on his, his contribution as well, and try to make that, that, that uh, connection with his, his uh, ability and his humility, my straight dog family. And I think about the the lies that come from some of our leaders. And we have to remind of our leaders who lie that they must know the truth if they want to be a good liar. As if you need, want to lie, you have to know the truth. So you can use it as a reference point, like I said. And we heard this, these lies about water and what was done and what was not done. So false, my street dog family. So false. And we heard from a man who my grandmother would say lies like when horses trotting. And we provided you the facts. We provided the facts, one, with the original agreement, which was in 2015 and not 2014, like the manager and water engineer would like us to believe. We provide you with the facts about a variation mm -hmm. agreement as well, my street dog family. We provided you with those facts. And yes, we did provide those facts, like I said, with the variation agreement. 
the first one and the second one. And we also provided you with the facts about the many scandals in the Grantly NIA. And he tries to pretend that he had no scandals. But Grantly had many scandals. My street dog family, many scandals he had. When I was and being attacked you know them all. In high and low places, as being a bad spender, I was making sure that I was spending money on developing Nevis. One of the things I prided myself on as the premier of this island, you have never heard any whiff of scandal involving my administration. Well, if the snake bluntly pretends he has never heard, then we must remind him of one of the biggest scandals. One of the biggest scandals was when he sneaked in that French criminal, when we were all focused on saving lives here, and he sneaked in this criminal under the pretext that he's going to bring investment, bring in a new industry, a film industry. It's going to Develop 35 films. How many films have been developed up to 35, my children of family? And these are the things we must consider. What was done and what was not done. But the rant about water was to really distract us from the fact that the protocols in terms of the quality, showing the quality of our water, they have not been transparent. Brantley brought a criminal and paid him hundreds of thousands of dollars per month from the NIA treasury. Yes, he said this. Brantley said this. We said to MSR after some negotiations that we will pay up to 150,000 US dollars and that was our partnership with them. And he paid him money that they don't have because Brantley needs plenty money even to pay his civil servants my street dog family plenty money he needs to pay his civil servants 96 million dollars to pay his civil servants Remember he got some $7 million from Team Unity for geothermal. Until this day, there's no account for that money that was spent. Caller, you are live. Thank you for holding. Hello, Caller. Yeah, Mr. Lyra, man. How are you doing tonight, Patches, man? I am peaceful, my brother. Yourself? Yeah, pretty good. I'm peaceful myself. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to call in and big you up a little bit tonight, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, I guess I kind of fell out the last program there, but um, I noticed that you put up, you brought forward finally. The, um, I had gave you some homework, some, you know, I don't know if it was months ago, but I've give you, I'd give you some homework before to bring that debt, the national debt. I think you might have did it like last time and then tonight again, right? The comparative debt between the NIA and the federal government. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Was was that 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 you you brought that information I, forward now, right? Yes, Tonight and the I, last I program did, or, did, or two programs ago, right? 
the last program I I had a a PowerPoint. Yes, yes, I, yeah, you yes, did. Yes, with the. Uh, so, Nevis. so what happened? I, I didn't get. I didn't. Yeah, that was last time or two night, two times before. Was that last Thursday, or last Monday? I believe it was. But last. anyway, you, you you did it again. You did it again tonight, right? I made mention of it, but I, I don't think I put up the PowerPoint. But I can find that yeah. before the the program is done. I should be able to find that. Yeah, yeah, but um, you know. Again, uh, I just wanted to bring that back to your attention. That it seems like you finally brought that information forward. Well, forgive me. I, I want to. Yes, I did. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to thank you. I wanted to thank you for that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My pleasure. My pleasure, my brother. And and also, you know, don't forget, man. Don't forget your girl, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> massive vibes, massive, massive vibes, vibes radio, radio, man. Massive vibes radio, yes, yes. That, that's like that's like sharing the link, man. I, is... I got a, I got a, I got somebody that I mentioned that too last time because you know, you know these young kids, man. They're up on the technology, man. Yes, yes. I I keep forgetting it. Uh, forgive me. I keep forgetting it. Uh, but I'll try to uh, put it into uh, permanently into 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 the system. Into rotation, yeah. Into yes, rotation, yeah, right? Yes, I'll try. Okay, and do that. okay. So. Okay, so let me push forward real quick, man, because time running down. Um, I guess I wanted to ask you a question, right, like um, about the Bede situation. Mm-hmm. When Bede was there before in the Federation on both, both sides, both islands, and they stopped drilling, and then they came back up on board, right? I, I can't really talk that much for the Sinkis end, but on the Nevis end, they might I think I've made, I heard some mention that they might go back into getting bead back on board. So my question to you is that when there was the interruption, right, and then bead came back, if the Federation on both islands was, bead was owing them money for not drilling. So now bead came back on board. Are they ditching out more money to bead to, to restart these projects? That's my question to you. What is second? And then can, secondly, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I was go saying ahead, I can speak for St. Kitts. Uh, the, the variation agreement entails some one million US dollars. That's in St. Kitts. So so be be they they halted they halted the projects on both islands. Um okay, you want to talk about the sinkers hand. But when the projects that got jump start again. Is the government ditching out more money to be? That's what I want to find out. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, yes, you, you, yes. I'm saying yes. That's what I said. Uh, so, you know? so the so the original so the original agreements that they had, right? When B, okay, so for instance, they paid out a hundred thousand for the drilling of. Okay, let me let me put it like this. They if you look at if you look at your, if you look at your screen, the, that's the variation agreement there. Uh, if you look on the left side. To your left on page what page is that's page three. You can see it on my system. So but but let me let me let me put this in an example real quick, man. Okay, if we ahead. kicked out three hundred if we kicked out three hundred thousand for three wells, bead only drill one one well before they interrupted. Then they came back now to drill the other two to suffice that three hundred thousand. Did the government kick out more money again? That's what I'm asking you. When 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 Bede has already done gotten three hundred thousand to build three wells, when they interrupted, and they only drill one well, now that they're coming back, is they kicking out more money to bid in a new contract, or bid is coming back to suffice the original contract? That's what my question is directly to you. Well, the question different than that. I was going to. You can't I'm, answer that question. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to answer if I, I, I if I'm going to answer you right. The, could, the original, the original time, question, you know, the original, no, no, the, the original uh, contract for up twenty fifteen, right? Spoke to, yeah, to uh, a certain amount of money. I think it was, was four million dollars US or something like that. They they got a mobilization of which the uh, some seven hundred fifty thousand US, which is about two million dollars. But they never performed. Yeah, they ne- they never, yeah, advance payment. But they never yeah. delivered, right? The mm-hmm. contract spoke to to be delivering in twelve months. That's exactly what the contract said. And I can, I like to provide the evidence. The evidence is there on your screen if you have your screen there. 
uh, 12 months. They never did. The uh, contract also spoke to the license agreement, which uh, dictates that bead must find water. They do deep well drilling. They must find water 400 feet and below, which they never did. They found water at 200 feet. If you look at the, the, your screen again, the government uh, retained the right to drill or contract for drilling up to 400 feet. And that well in Shadwell, both wells in Shadwell were above 400 feet. So that's the government's uh, prerogative to take that water. But then there was then there was then there was the uh, a variation a variation agreement which I just put on the screen as well. This is this variation. Yeah, I, can't look at, I can't look at yeah. the screen at the same time, but okay, I'm gonna fine. go back and look at this yeah, but, personally. Right, yes. But um, lastly, mm. before last, let me get let me get off the line, man. Lastly, um, mm. there's a lady in Vietnam that was just um sentenced to death, you know, with some corruption and some white collar crimes that she did over there. Mm-hmm. You know, so just give me 10 seconds to not say nothing in the name of corruption. Please, 10 seconds. In the name of corruption, I want to say nothing at all for 10 seconds. All right, man. Okay, Patches, that's it, man. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. I want the corruption to be, I want the corruption to get minimized. Uh, ex- Extinguished in SKN. Thanks a lot. Have a good night, man. Have a good night as well. Always welcome your contributions. And as we wind down tonight's programming, yes, my straight dog family, the question was asked, and contrary to what what uh, the snake was trying to peddle, that nothing was done until B, until Jew came in 2022. And that is so false, really, because we we found water, we connected a well in 2018. We drilled a well in 20... Two wells in 2018, albeit contrary to the contract. But we connected 500,000 gallons, and then the variation agreement, as I posted on your screens... We always provide the evidence. Uh, in 2019, they were paid one million dollars, and then the there was a second variation uh, to that agreement, uh, which is what is in place now and was in place before uh, July came to office. Carlo, I want to yeah. thank you for holding your. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Patches, I'm coming back. I'm still laughing, you know. Mm-hmm. Patches, I don't know if you, you can recall some years ago mm-hmm. that a person was working with the government in St. Kitts, mm-hmm. and the person interfered with taxpayers' money. And they went to Mr. Bratcher to beg pardon. And Mr. Bratcher tell them they have to pay back the money what they should interfere with. And they did not have that money in their pocket to pay back. And Mr. Bratcher take it from their benefits that they were supposed to collect from the government. Make sure the government get back the money. So that should have been done to, to bid with the money that the snake say they deposit to bid to drill well. And nothing has been done. So he obeyed and they should that now he's going to take, they take bid to court. And now the bid come back now again now and then the federal government is over what the sink is a nevis and what you mean they they're gonna pay him money again to come back and mama guide them? Well Patrick now let me go here now to the morgue. You can see that this this boy went in, in government without any plan. He had no ideas how to lead a country. None, absolutely none. He went in there with ignorance and that is what got in him. You gonna tell me a big hospital that they're going to make a big mistake in a mug before you look I, in I, the mug and make sure you were saying something I, i've just i just seen uh a release on skn or s Senkitz nevis times uh-huh. and the headlines read and i quote 
And we made mention of that on our program tonight, so I'll be guided by mm-hmm. this one. It says the Ministry of Health condemns false publication regarding alleged wrong body buried incident at JNF Hospital. So that seemed to be uh, an erroneous uh, uh, thing being peddled. It says false. So, uh, and, and, mm-hmm. and, and, uh, a statement was issued uh, by the Ministry of Health uh, on the JNF hospital operation. So I, I want to take this as, as being accurate. So, right. uh, so I agree with you. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I agree with you, yeah. Patrice. Yeah. Um, let me say something here. Patrice, we know that 15, 15 um, dialysis machine came to sink it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the vast majority of them were, were, were working. Anyway, move from that, they know. <laughs> yes, so in, yeah. I was in a hospital in Miami on two occasions, two different occasions. And the hospital name is Jackson Hospital. And from the moment you are admitted in that hospital, they put a band around your wrist with your name on it. So therefore... Anybody want to come to you to do anything or find you know, who you are, where you are, all they have to do look on you is, and they will say, okay, this is the individual that we, we want to, to take for the, to the lab to take a blood test. So if anything goes wrong in any country with any situation like what we spoke about tonight, that is carelessness and the, the, peop- the office that is responsible. Anyway, you know for that, let me go to something else now. Drew, Drew campaign, and he, he, he criticized and accused Team Unity administration of victimizing people with their job. And nothing tall went so, because up that hospital, I know many times I go in the hospital, and there was an individual in a high job, and you see me, they would say, I don't know what's going on here with Team Unity, you know, because they got these load of labor people up here still working as though well is they run in the country. I said, listen, Dr. Harris, this side, well, he's going to operate like Martin Luther King. Black and white mix up. He's not going to segregate nobody and victimize nobody. So everybody has to, everybody have to eat. So and who, who is labor and who ain't labor? Everybody have a right to work in the country yeah, okay. and eat. Okay. So, therefore, Therefore, I am saying this. Somebody in this country again get victimized okay. lately. Somebody. And that should stop. So have a good night. Have a good night, my brother. Thank you for your intervention as usual. I'm sorry, Carl. I lost a caller just now. I'll perhaps uh, give you an opportunity to a call back. Uh, caller, I'm sorry about that, uh, but uh, I'll give you a few seconds before I wrap uh, for tonight's program. But for those who may have joined me uh, late, and I do apologize for my own uh, late start as well, but our thesis tonight we titled Before. God and man, snake brantler's hands not clean. Call you live. Hello, caller. Mr. Mr. Patches, greetings. How are you? I am peaceful, my brother. Yourself? Greetings. I'm very good myself. You continue having some very interesting topics. I try. Hello, hello. One, the topic you had for the past, maybe three programs, the deputy, that was a very lofty topic, very, very lofty. Thank you. you know, when you put up the clip with Mr. Brantley tonight, I said, look at that. Once ago, Mr. Brantley used to look so handsome, you know, human caring. Now you cannot see that kind of look on Mr. Brantley at all. And I said, you know, he was in a unity government. And even though he find no positive faults, 
he didn't have the strength to hold the government together to continue the governance on behalf of the people. You know, he, he, he didn't have that willpower to carry on a unity administration because of his ego. You know, when he talk so much of the contributions he got under the unity administration, to say anything otherwise no is, you could say, ungratefulness. And when he say there's nothing scandalous, I mean, when a government, you, you alluded to it tonight, when a government has its workers and not paying social contribution on, be, on their behalf, it's, it's a criminal act. Criminal, yeah. You find, you find workers who want to get their maturity cannot even get it. I mean, how could a government be so, I mean, Atlas. evil to its own people and don't find those things as scandalous? You know, I, you put up a kryptonite also with the special advisor commenting on the solar farm. You know, many persons in here, in this country, who has influence towards the people, they doesn't seem to share the fact that things were done good under the unity administration for the country. It seems as though it's only if they say so, it is so. Those are just division tactics to use upon the people. And I have one question I want to ask you. Mr. Bratcher's house, was that will to the government? Not to my knowledge. Because, not to your knowledge. knowledge. So, if a house, a private house didn't will to the government, why mo was why the government must take on that as a project to invest taxpayers' money on a project of that nature? That's the question. That 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 is the thing that was uh, that bothers my mind. I just ask myself why the government have to say it taking on a private project to invest taxpayers' money in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And be strong as always. Thanks a lot, my brother. Thank you for your contribution. I'll take this and make this my last call. Caller, thank you for holding your life. Thank you for having me, Patches. Good night to one and all, all the listeners. Good night, Joe. Barria, home and abroad. Now, Patches, there are several issues I, I would like to uh, comment on. But I will jump to the solar. But is I have done some researches on solar. And what is the big deal about solar? Why solar is being ping pong ball, flip flopping, where someone is trying to take ownership, someone is criticizing, and the flip flop between carry it as a project or playing politics. The solar farm should have already done a long time ago. Because solar, what is hard about creating solar? But it's a good thing. It's a very good thing, as the uh, colleague said. Solar is cheap and simple. And if such a thing were to take place, and if it was to take place based on the large scale, yes, it will benefit the people of St. Kitts and Nevis because they will be producing free energy from the sun. And then it could feed into the grid. And not only just the government, if houses are stable, rooftops, sun is beaming from east, west, north, and south on the Federation. Some of these people who house is, is sustainable to accommodate solar panels, they could feed back into the grid. So most likely, almost every house is 
could be equipped to feed back energy into the grid and make things make electrical energy cheaper for everybody apart from what the government will have an abundant farm. It's just to get the panel, set the panel, feed it into the grid, and end the story. Ain't no big deal. So why politics are playing? And these politicians are taking ownership of something to do. Remember the big word, and nothing supersedes that. Government is continuous. So if a government make a boo-boo in a project, what the other, what the other uh, incoming opposition will do? Break it down? or improve upon it. Everything in the island, everything anywhere is only to improve. Not to say it is me do this. Me, 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 me. Just bullfrog and knuckle bull. Do what necessary for the country, the people. The government is all about the people, not about some bunch of technocrats sitting down and taking ownership. Me, 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 me. It is continuous. Get that in your head. Okay? The project doesn't belong to you all. You all are put into power thinking you all have dynamic mi dynamic minds. And stop being coconut head. Thank you. Thank you very much. My straight dog family. Understand your passion. And that's the way we're going to end it for tonight, my straight dog family. And just to let you know that Contrary to what the snake Brantley said, in St. Kitts, we didn't in fact find water in or connected a well on the 27th of November 2018. And this was what or how the then acting manager and water engineer put it. This is what he said. Let's read our family. My name is um, Charles Paris of the Water Service, Sink it's Water Services Department. And today we are here at um, Shadwell One. Shadwell One, we just brought on stream with uh, roughly 350 gallons uh, per minute, pumping 500,000 gallons per day to the Olives Reservoirs. Before the um, on stream of this um, well, we were taking water from the aquifer with two, well, two wells pumping to Olives. Now with this one, we can send the water from here straight to Olives and serve the Bastia area from Olives from the water that we have here at Shadwell One. So bringing this um, well on stream has given us some relief in that we are able now to use those two wells in the Bastia Aquifer and channel them to Mon Peak that serves Bird Rock, um, the Greater Bastia and parts of Frigate Bay and uh, the Southeast Peninsula. Yes, and it was in 2019 that a variation agreement was first signed in, or agreed to in May 2019, and it was then renegotiated for a second agreement which is on your screen as well and reads now therefore by this variation agreement the parties hereby agree to vary replace and supersede the main agreement and the first variation agreement save and accept to the extent expressly set forth herein and some of the conditions are Listed below, if you go to section two, it says Bede will recommence work on or about the first day of February 2021 and the work to be undertaken under this variation agreement 
shall be limited to <coughs> the schedule number two and the Kion site or as further detailed and set out herein. So this again puts a falsehood to what the snake Mark Brantley peddled and the chief engineer, water manager and chief engineer as well uh, peddled a falsehood about the 2014 and not 2015 agreement as they stated. And I will leave you with this fact. Mark the Snake Brantley said this as well. When I was being attacked in high and low places as being a bad spender, I was making sure that I was spending money on developing Nevis. One of the things I prided myself on as the premier of this island, you have never heard any whiff of scandal involving my administration. Well, my Straight Talk family, many of us have heard and seen right here on Straight Talk this big scandal of deducting of the, the social security contribution as required by law and not matching the contrib contributions and paying it into the social security fund. And that's not only a scandal, but that as well is criminal. So when Brantley said there's no whiff of scandals, he's probably high on something, like I said before, my street of family. The big scandal as well about the French criminal who was sneaked into this country under the cloak or in the darkness of COVID when we were all masked up and not being able to move around he sneaked in a French criminal and paid him this my street dog family all this money he paid what was our deal with MSR? We said to MSR, after some negotiations, that we will pay up to 150,000 US dollars. And that was our partnership with them. And again, my sweet dog family, as we wind down tonight's programming, they tried to change the narrative about the water. Do not underline, do not lose sight of the fact that the Water Services Department in concert with B and the Minister with Responsibility for Water and the Minister with Responsibility for Health have not been transparent about the quality of water that they are trying to put into the system. And we must stand up as a people for the people of Kion until they bring the information to the country. We are not saying that the water is bad. Neither can we say that the water is good. But give us the facts. Be transparent. Engage Engage the Bureau of Standards uh, Manager and Water Engineer. You were asked this question. You mentioned that you test the water quality of the well in uh, Kayan. Yes. Was that done by the Bureau of Standards here in St. Kitts, the testing? Not as yet. Not as yet. No. But the ones in Shadwell were done by the Bureau of Standards? I think so. Yeah. Not as yet. When will the Bureau of Standards test the water? They can go there tomorrow and take their samples. And they ought to be given access to that well. So, for the snake, no scandals? There's so many scandals. 
And the big one is the social security monies that you continue to take out from those civil servants and public servants and not paying it into the social security board. That's criminal. Just like your colleague, Garth Lucifer Wilkin, who deducted from his own nanny's wages and never paid it in accordance with the law into the Social Security Board. My Street Dog family, as we wrap, I prayed to the Lord. As I said before, I'll say it in parting. That whatever the results of my talk in the truth in this country, I intend to accept them. No matter how comfortable it may get to some people, especially those in authority, those like Garth Lucifer Wilkin, Terence Michael July, I can assure you I will speak the truth. At all times. And my focus tonight was on the proxy and political prostitute. And I am not afraid to say that before God and man, Snake Brantley, hands not clean. That's my story tonight, my street dog family. And I will connect with you on Thursday. And I won't change that story. So when we connect on Thursday, God's will, we'll continue our dialogue. Until that time, be good to yourselves and to all whom you meet. And remember, whatever your mind conceives, that you will achieve. But first of all, you've got to believe. So when you wake in the morning, thank God for the morning light. Thank Him for taking you through the night. And my trade dog family, keep moving on. Bye-bye. Until we connect on Thursday.